the bigger picture is going to show us it's overall quieter in New Jersey, but it was anything but quiet earlier in the day. And Christy Kalishian is out there right now in Madison, New Jersey, that got hit particularly hard. Uh, I see the pictures behind you. We got some big old trees down there. I'm sure that's not a uh, like a one tree sort of deal. I bet, I bet you it was all over the town. Oh, absolutely, Lonnie. Yeah, we did. This is one of two homes that we went to today, and that's just what we saw. So can't even imagine how many others here around this neighborhood. And just want to show you this driveway, for example. Yeah, as you were mentioning, just take a look at the trees that um, parts of the trees that we've been seeing here on the driveway. And it took out. A, you could even see their their uh, basketball hoop as well as their left garage door. What a shame here for this family. Um, we just saw the crews working out here, um, and also the family uh, car was damaged by this. It only had two. 2,000 miles on it. The residents here telling me it was fresh out of the dealership, and now they're unsure if they'll ever be able to repair it back to full working capacity. And take a look at the damage inside of the home here a hole in the ceiling of the master bedroom uh, from part of a tree that fell here onto the home. And 13 year old James Kilman, who lives here, heard everything. I was in my bedroom, and then I heard a giant boom outside, and it was super, super scary. And and I looked in the other room and there was water pouring in and it was really, really weird. And just a short drive from here, um, another family has to make repairs to the back of their home. Um, a, a large tree fell back there as well. Um, it hit uh, their, it damaged their deck. Even the skylight near in a room near their kitchen. And police are telling us that a woman was actually sitting in the room where that skylight was and suffered scratches to her face because of the skylight glass falling there. So very dangerous over there. Just a three-minute drive from here. And um, this family tells us they're happy that nobody got hurt. Um, and and, and actually, the rain was starting to pick up again just a short while ago. So still seeing these conditions out here, but that wind definitely not as strong as it was earlier today. Um, neighbors here only, the, the re family here only lived here for about four years. It's the first time they're seeing this severe storm damage to their home. And we're live in Madison, New Jersey. Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News. All right, Christy, thank you for that update. And we did see plenty of wild weather earlier today. A lot of it in Bergen County, New Jersey. Check out all of this hail coating a deck in Hillsdale. All also, see all the rain coming down along with a tree there. This is from the White Beaches Golf and Country Club in Haworth. Heavy rain also flooded the roadways, making it tough for drivers this afternoon. This was along Route 17 southbound, just north of Midland Avenue in the Ridgewood area. There were more flooded roads in Newark earlier today in Essex County. A car seemed stuck in the water right there. Do stay with CBS 2 News as we track these storms throughout the evening. Look for the latest forecast on CBS. CBSNewYork.com and also streaming on CBS News New York.